Hi! In this video, we're going to learn the introduction to thermochemistry. We know that in every chemical reaction, there's always involvement of energy. A chemical reaction will never be possible without the involvement of energy. So there's always an accompaniment of a change in energy every time we observe a chemical reaction. We know that in a chemical reaction, we have our reactants that will react to form our products. And we know that the products themselves, they have what we call the stored energy, which we commonly term as chemical energy, because these chemical energy serves as a potential energy of these reactants because they are able to do a little work or some work so that the reactants could be transformed into products. So think about your the energy involvement in a chemical reaction as something that's what th that's happening with the reactants the collision and the bond breaking and the new bond formation that's going on so that the formation of the products will be possible so in in chemical reactions energy can either be absorbed or released during a chemical reaction so the absorption or the release of the chemical energy or any energy and the study of this transfer of energy that the company during this chemical reaction is what we call thermochemistry so thermochemistry we can break this down into two words thermo and chemistry and we know that thermo is associated with heat which is usually this energy in transit during a chemical change is what we call heat and chemistry is of course the study of chemical and physical changes of matter so putting them together we have the branch of chemistry that studies this as called thermochemistry so i want you to just pause this video and look at all these significant concepts and words that you're going to learn in the study of thermochemistry. Please take time to copy all these words and their meaning and repeat them over and over again because as we go along with the lesson in thermochemistry, these words will be repeatedly used. And so I would expect that you know the meaning of these words. So I will stop this short lecture video and then be uh, on top of the next video that will follow after this.